Hello everyone. Hi. My name is Juju. I'm from At Adao. Only female in the band. So often I get bullied. This is one of the very good examples that one person had to speak for the band. They put everything on me. Okay. So today, I'd like to ask this question. This is the most common question when we are growing up. Often, we are asked, right? What do you want to be when you grow up? Correct? A lot of times we get asked this question. And I was thinking, a lot of us will be very happy to hear when the kids or youth say, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a president. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be an engineer. Then we say, yeah, he's going to be a doctor. Very happy. But we feel there's one very important question that we hardly ask. That's, how do you want to live your life? Because I think there's a lot of doctors who are very, very successful, making a lot of money, have all the nice house and nice cars, but maybe not that happy. Maybe we have someone very successful, having very good financial power, however, not so happy in their life. So we feel this is the correct question that we need to ask all youth, even ourselves. How do you want to live our lives? This one is about the intention. What kind of intention we have in our hearts that really connects to the attitude. When we have good intention, our life can turn out very differently. For example, let's say I am working in a car wash. I every day wash car. If I have the intention, I just want to make money. Many, many, many comes, please call. I, many cars, please come. Then I might miss some of the spots. I might scratch my customer's car. The result might not so good. Then customer is not happy, maybe not coming back to my car wash anymore. But when I have the intention, whatever I do, I want to do good for people around me, and I want to make the world for the better place for everyone, then my car wash will be really different. Everyone will be so happy with the result. In the end, more and more customers come to my car wash, not the other one. I will be successful. My boss will be very happy to help me. Our whole business will be successful. Same goes to a cook. If I'm a chef, I really pay attention what I cook, how I cook. I will really pay attention, make sure the food is not burnt. I'm using all good ingredients. Make sure nothing bad goes into the food that I'm cooking. My restaurant will be so successful. Not like one of our band members. He was eating in a canteen in somewhere in West Malaysia. The whole canteen became upside down, screaming. A lot of people was vomiting. Guess what? <laughs> what happened? Some very unpleasant insect was in the dish for every single one. So one more vomit and then like domino. Everyone in the canteen, it, it's a true story by the way, really. If we have good intention, and we really pay attention what I do, what we do, be mindful, this kind of incident won't happen. All the incidents from you know, fake milk powder, fake, fake eggs, fake rice, all these things won't happen, right? And also, healthcare providers, very important, having good intention. I really want to help this patient because they are already going through huge stress, the outcome will, will, will be really different. When we emit good energy, they will receive good energy, they will, their recovery will be very fast. Correct? Also, the teachers, 
We feel the teachers are the one of the most important jobs in the whole world. They are really educating the future generations. What they deliver to the youth, it's our future. So really, as a teacher, we really have to have very, very good intention. We really wish from the bottom of our heart that the, the students that we are teaching will grow up to be the most amazing individuals for the world. Then the whole world is going to change. Right? So, and they will be very, very successful. The teacher will be really, really recognized as best teacher. Kids, children will remember that teacher for the lifetime. It will really lead to success. So this is what we felt, having a good intention, good attitude inside us, will make us successful in whatever we do. Even I'm, you know, the, the shoe shining, I will be successful in shoe shining. If I am a musician, we do put all our heart we, with a very, very good intention. Our music will be heard because they can feel it. So whatever we do, having a good intention, attitude, will really lead to success. So that's, that's our really main uh, message, that having a good intention is something we really have to share with the youth and everyone. Even we are not uh, late yet. We can change inside, so we can change the world. So now, I'd like to introduce our band. Our band is called At Adao. We play experimental world music. So we combine this traditional instrument inside our music together with the other instrument from all around the world. Because one of the core value that we have is we really want to appreciate our tradition. It's not my tradition, <laughs> but I see as a foreigner, the Sarawak culture, the tradition, music, everything is so beautiful. And we really want to appreciate it. Because we have past, then we have now. Because we have now, we have future. So we really like to connect the past into now, and now to the future. That's what we really want to do. <laughs> Thank you very much. And secondly, we really want to preserve environment without the nature, no human, mankind. So we really want to contribute even small parts into uh, environmental conservation. One of our songs called Forest Breeze that we're going to play in a minute uh, is also really appreciating the di biodiversity of the forest that we have here, but not only limited here, but all around the world, we really have to put uh, our forces together to preserve this environment. Thirdly, we really want to give, give back to the community. So just now, Serene was introduced us as Music Dead Hills. That's quite a big statement, but that's where our intention is. We really wanted to use our music to heal someone. Because music is really powerful. Yeah? Who, do, who doesn't like music? <laughs> no one, right? Everyone loves music. Why? Even though, like Swahili music, I don't understand. But when we listen, there's something it touches us. Music trans transcend uh, transcend all the barriers, language barriers, ideological differences, gender differences, cultural differences, everything. It straight go to the heart. So we wanted to use this tool that we have, creating music, to do good for the world. One of the songs called Ajen Oku, you can please YouTube and go watch our video, music video. Ajen Oku, we project 
that we shouldn't lose hope. Even life becomes very hard sometimes, but we shouldn't give up. There will be always miracle happens when we believe. That's the power of our subconscious mind. So we wanted to deliver that kind of messages. So this is the last uh, time I really want to remind all of us, not only to the kids, not only to the youth, but ourselves also. How do we want to live our life today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, next year, every single day? Thank you very much.